as you feel more capable, you can do it a little bit more. This is loosening up your shoulders. See, I bent my elbow maybe because I have a shoulder issue. Modify it to your ability to start to open up the body. I'm going to give you a variation. Look, elbow set, I'm still turning. And then the more gigantic one, big pull back and take your break. Wiggle about, loosen up the upper body, lift it up. Off you go and it's over. Let's do this first without the turn, okay? So we're going over, big, big, big stretch. So if you're anything like me, this feels good because it's a first morning big stretch unless you've already done this, okay? Stretch out laterally to your side and bring it up. Let's do two more like that. You inhale, exhale over to the side. And one more time, up, up, over. And I stay there. Now I'm going to look up at my hand and I'm kind of pulling this arm back a little bit and then I take it forward. So that's what you do if you want a little bit more as you loosen up. You can take the arms back a little bit more. If you want to do it with the best elbow, you can bend the elbow. But I just want to get a little rotation in the upper body in this position. Take what's according to your shoulder ability. I'm going to show you the variation again. Elbow set as I turn. Everybody understand? Make sure your head is comfortable. Don't let it be awkward when we do this. Let's do one more time. You've got the bent elbow or the straight. Twist it and take it down. Move it. Slowly roll. So just bow your mat. Take your hands. Go like this a few times. Just move them around. And then take it behind you. If it's available, in the lace up. See if you can pull your shoulder blades down and then raise your arms back. So hold it there. If you wanted to do it with the band, you could. Okay? So I'm doing it without the band. I'm really squeezing my shoulder blades together and then I'm bringing them down. Do it a few more times. Squeeze it and then bring it down. One more time. Squeeze it. And bring it down. Let's hold it right there and separate. Shoulders shrug up and down two times. Hold it there. Dip your ear to the shoulder and now drop your chin to the chest. Just wake up the trapezius and lift it up. We go right to the second side. Drop your head, drop your chin. Bring it up. Inhale, two arms come up. Interlace your fingers. Stretch over. Inhale, stretch. Over, one more time on each side. Inhale, stretch over, and then a final one before we hit the dirt. And you're here, inhale up, you open, and good. Go home, you should feel pretty good, okay? Let's go to the ground. Okay, so, we start to the middle with a band. Put it on your foot, facing that way, and raise the leg up nice and high. Take your shoulders and pull them down. We just did a whole shoulder thing to organize it. Raise your leg high. Put the hand out like this to me. Roll down, put your hand behind your head and stretch. So it's like this. Loosen up your hamstrings. Pull, pull a few more times. So the side view, you can see my head is held in my hand. I'm engaging my abdominals right now. And I'm back and forth just to loosen up the hamstrings. Pull a lot. Two more times, pull it. And on the next one, I'm going to switch my hand, put the hand behind the head. I'm going to go over to the side and up. Do a few more times. So you can go over to the side and then up. Feel that. You're crossing the midline, waking up, over to the side and up. Do two more times. Take it over to the side and up. Let's hold it over to that side and Pull on the band, it's like you feel it right in here. Curl up, make sure your elbow is open, your head is peaceful as you pull it. Switch your hand, switch to the side. So you take it out to the side. See how I'm going out towards my ear, hand behind the head, I pull it. The side view is a straight leg, and I take it out to the side and curl up. Put your second leg and you wait there. Just feel it, you're pulling on your band. So there's a little bit of like me pushing you, but you're pushing yourself, pulling that band. Feel that stretch. Back to center. Hold the reins like I am right here. 
Take the chest, bring it up, stabilize your upper body, hold. Okay, I'm gonna hold this kind of wide, I'm gonna pull back and wait here. Sit up super straight, shoulders down the back, and let it go. Pull back three times, squeeze, hold it there. Establish the secondary powerhouse, shoulders down the back, engaging your shoulder blades. Good, and two more, squeeze it, and let it go one more time. Hold it there, and let it go. Put that foot down, now hold these reins, walk up, holding the rein, pull yourself back, wait. So this foot's nice and straight, I don't care about this foot right now. Pull yourself forward, and then roll yourself up, got it? Pull yourself forward. We do this nicely because we're just starting with the lower lumbar spine, got it? Pull it over, pull this so you get a nice stretch. And one more time. Pull it over and let's go to the second leg. Okay, here we go. Raise it up nice and high. I'm gonna hold it and put the hands behind. And I'm going to roll myself in to back and forth motion just to stretch out the hamstrings, okay? So I'm holding my head comfortably. I'm not like this, look, I'm open. Pull, pull, take it down. Do a couple more. Move up the hamstrings. Inhale, exhale. And the next one, I'm going to switch my hand, crossing the midline. It looks like this. I'm crossing the midline, right? And then I'm bringing it back to center. See a few more. I'm crossing the midline. And I take it back to center. I cross the midline. Let's do a few of these. I want you to feel it going through the uh, outer formant. Back up. And the side of the band here. Pull it a lot, guys. Back to center. Two more. Pull it a lot. And center last time. Hold it right here and you just wait there. So I'm crossing it, I'm letting it happen. I'm pulling it a lot and I'm not moving. Here's my stretch. So it's good active and now I'm pulling it here. Then I'm going to switch my hand, okay? And I'm going to flip the leg out to the side. Notice my side here, my head is peaceful. I am going to the top. You wait there. I'm curled up, I'm activating my abdominals. I can pull up my second leg and you hold it here. Now, if you're bending your legs, straight it. Use your hand to really pull the leg out. And hold that for three, two, one. Bring back to center. Take out from the range. Chest to chest. Bring it up. This time I'm going to cross the band. Okay, I'm going to get my shoulders down, my elbows into the rib cage, and I'm pulling hold. So my leg is lifted, but my elbows brush my rib cage and let it go. If you need to adjust this so you can do it correctly, closer or further, pull in. Do a few more. Remember, you're brushing the rib cage, and this is like a row, you guys. You're sitting up straight, belly in. I'm brushing the rib cage, squeezing my shoulders, legs together. Do two more times. Pull back. And one more time, hold it there. Please sit up straight, raise your leg, and then let it go. Okay, I'm uncrossing the band, and I'm still holding it, so I pull myself down. I don't know about you, but I can feel my lower back when I do this. It's a nice stretch. Sit up and step. Let's do it one more time. Sit, lift it, come down, pull it. Nice stretch. And let it go. Hold the band in your hand, get organized. Put it in your lap, take your hands, put them behind you, sit up straight. Now look at my feet, they're everywhere. Put them together and flex them. Do your best to make them parallel and lift your chest. Use your hands to hoist your rib cage. You're sitting nice and straight. Hands are forward, I'm still sitting nice and straight. I'm leaning back and I'm coming right back up. Do that again. So I'm leaning back. I'm coming right back up. Got it? It's a small move, just enough to feel how you use your abdominals to lift yourself up. Do two more times, take it back. And lift it up. One more time, take it back. And now I'm going to round my back, grab the knees, half or the toe, drop your head. Bend your knees and wiggle. Loosen up that back again. Drop your chin. And lift your head to look up. Straighten the legs. Pick the stand up, please. Feet together. Now, sit up straight. Hold your band. Hold it where you think you can lift those arms up. And bring it down. Do about four or five of those with the inhaling the up. Some of you can go back a little further with the arms, but don't hurt yourself. 
Lift up and come up to the ceiling. Do three more times. Inhale up. Good. Two more times. Lift yourself up. And then the final one. Lift it up. You hold it there. Now, hinge back. Arms forward. Rolling down to the shoulder blades. Come up. So in this one, if you're struggling, hold it tighter. You don't have to go down to the shoulder blades. Go down a little bit. Sit up straight and raise your arms. Hold it accordingly. You don't have to go all the way back. Go back a little if necessary. I'm going to go all the way back to show you. I feel come up without a hitch. Nice and lifted. Do three more. Roll down. Come up. Now to help you come up, when I'm down, I'm going to pull this to bring me up. One more time. Take it down. Pull me to bring it up. Bend your knees. Wrap these here. Stretch your legs. Pull yourself forward. Wiggle about. And roll yourself up. Cross this band one more time. Push your feet apart. You can feel it right here as you push it apart. Pull back one and let it go. Sit up straight. By now, you're good at this, but I'm activating the outside of my legs. I'm pushing them apart. All right? Do three more. Hold back. You're lifted nice and proud of the straight body. Good. You can decide you. I don't think you can't see yourself. Okay. But I want you to lift it up. Hold it there. Sit straight. Sit straight. Sit straight. Now I want you to round again and move this away. Reach for something. Take this leg and bend it in. Use your hands to organize. Straight leg. Push yourself down. Tap this bent leg. Reach. Reach. And take it back. Let's do it again. This hand is down. Reach. Reach. And take it back. We have three more. Pull out. Reach, reach, good. Do it again. Two more. Reach, reach. Up we go. Last time. Hold it there. Two hands. Grab something, and then you're going to use your hands to twist. Drop your ear to the knee. Feel that nice pull to your lower back. Back to center. Use your hands to sit up straight. Side two. Help yourself get into it, and. Clean up your foot. Use your lifted arms to get yourself lifted tall. Tap side. Reach, reach, and then take it back. Do a few more times like that. Reach, reach. Everybody see what I mean? We haven't really hit the hardcore calisthenics yet. We have a lot of stretching so far. Do two more. Notice my foot is nice and clean. Last time. Reach, reach. Two hands. I'm going to use it to help me. Twist my body and then bring your ear to the knee. Hold that pose for just a moment. Hold it for four, three, two, and stretch the center. Roll it yourself up. Both legs are straight. Hands are here. You roll back and you stop. Pull this in. Back and you stop. So I've got my seatbelt on. One leg is up, one leg is down. If you don't like doing it like this, you can put your hands behind you and support it. But by hands being forward, you're forced to engage more of the center here. Lift it up for five more. Feel the top of your thigh. Notice my leg is in parallel. Three more. Two more. Last time, you're going to hold it there. Flex your foot. Turn the toes outward and sink six to five. Up you go. It's a different leg. The toes turning out. I use my hands when I'm getting tired. Three more. Okay. Two more. Hold it on one. Let's just bend both knees. Grab your ankles. Roll the back. Wiggle. Okay, so you should have been feeling working the quadriceps as well. Pull yourself forward and stretch the legs up. You go. Shoulders down. Sit up straight. Use your hands to help you sit up straight. Shoulders down. I'm rolling back. I stop. Here is my power. Take the leg up. Take it down. There you go. If you want to put your hands back, that would be okay. But if you're rolling back tight belly, you're hanging out in here, do five more like that, and parallel, straight leg, four more. Got it. Three more. Two more. On the next one, you can either break or hold it, flex your foot, turn the toes on the angle, down, up. This is where you want to make sure your abdominals are holding in or help yourself with your arms. Do five more. Up one. Up two. Feel the leg working. Up three. 
a four final time, a five, bend both knees, grab the ankles, drop your head to the floor. Feel your back stretching as the crown of the head reaches down, draw yourself up. Continue to locate and put the feet together. Sit up straight. Use your hands to sit you up, and you're going to roll back up. Chin, stretch your spine, inhale, stack. Sit up straight. Do two more like that. Roll down. Sit up straight. One more. Roll down. And hold. Put your hands to the side and roll yourself down to the mat. Put your hands behind the head. Raise the legs up. So the legs are in your diamond shape. Okay. And my elbows are open and the legs go down, take the top. Do a bunch of these just to warm up the hinge of your, your thighs here. Yeah. Lift it up. Heads nestled in the hands, lift it up. Good. So start to lift up. Take it down and five more. Five more. Good. My knees are turned down. My feet are clapping together. Four more. Lift the three more. Lift the two more. I'm going to hold that up there. You got it? I'm down and then I'm down. One leg at a time. Keep it going. Go like that. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Do a couple more. Work that leg for two more. For two more. Final time. You're here and your heels go together. Your feet go apart. Look the right and down. Okay, I'm going to curl up. I'm going to hold my legs and straighten them to the ceiling. Now, you can do one of two things. You can put your head down and then when we're home, you can do a pillow. Or we can put our hands behind the head. And we're doing plies, okay? So you're going up and down. You should feel how we're activating the thigh muscles, all right? And four more. Lift it up four, squeeze it in the thighs. Lift it up to two more. Good. This is a leg exercise shot, you'll be enough. Two more. Then you hold it there, you wait to regroup as you lower to 45 and bring it back up. Do a few more times. You lower to 45. Some of you are going more than 45. If you can feel that you're safe with your lower back to work the straight leg. Some of you are maybe four inches. Bring it up. A couple of inches, whatever works for you. Three more. Number three. Bring it up. Number two. Bring it up on the next one. You bring it up, you hold it there, bend your knees and regroup, stretch out, and then that's it. Work your inner thighs, believe it or not. Put these two sides tight together. Stretch out, close those inner thighs. Bring it in. Five more. One. Bring it in. Two. Good. Number three. Good. Number four. Last time. Number five. Hold this. Pull the knees into the shoulders, put your head down, and relax. You're going to roll from side to side. Rock it out. Take a deep breath, just regroup yourself. Inhale, exhale. Then lift your head up to what? These go together, they both go to one side, and you wait to the other. Your arm up to the ceiling, look at me. My knees are tight, keep them together as I bring my arm back and forth to each side. So we're rotating out of our hips. Get that shoulder down to the elbow and the knuckles. Look towards the hand, bring it up two more times. Inhale. And one more time. Let's just hold here. Now, if you want to peek at me, look what I've done. I've straightened both legs. See how my shoulder just came up? Now I'm going to get my shoulder down and I'm going to wait there. There's a big stretch for four, and three, and two. I bend my knees and wait. Bring the knees up, lift your hands behind the head. So here I am, but my knees are to one side. Hold, curl up, take it down. So let me regroup this. I came from here. Look, everybody, from here. Put my feet up, and I came up, but I still keep my knees to that direction. And now I lift up and down a few times. Notice my elbows are not moving because look, guys, it's not that the head doesn't do it. You curl up with the rib cage lifting into the hip. And I'm, I'm in this position, but to that one angle side, lift up for five, work from the belly, four more, three more, two more. Last time, hold it up on one knee center, grab this, drop your head when you go back my side. Both knees down to the second side. Try to get your hands on your thighs, put the knees together, raise your arm, and open up. 
two cups of those. Inhale, exhale. I am stretching my arm out of my torso. I've got this cool twist happening. Inhale, exhale. Four more. Stretch it out. Lift it up. Three more. Stretch it out. Two more times. And last time. Hold it back there. You wait there. Stay there. If you want to straighten both legs, you can look at me. Boom, boom. A big stretch. Just be with it for a moment because that's a nice twist of the body. Bend your knees. Come up. Look up. Keeping my knees to one side, but my head is up. So if I come center and then twist it over. Got it? Now curl up and down two times. Elbows stay open the whole time. I'm not using my neck or shoulders. I'm isolating in my oblique. Take it up to five more. Up to four more. Up to three more. Up to two more. One more time back to center. I wait there. Hands go down. And knees together. Lift your head. Now put your hands behind them again. Okay? From here, lift your hips up and take your hips down. So I'm going to kind of drop the mat so you can see it better. Lift your hips up. If you notice, my ribs stay on the mat, and I'm sort of isolating in the lower extremity. Head is lifted because it's comfortable, and I can see the screen too. You lift it up. So what I'm trying to do is create this whole tight area through here. Okay, do five more. Squeeze your inner thighs, my feet are together. Four more. Lift up three more. Lift up for two more. I hold it on one, I stay here. I pick one leg to go up to the ceiling. I'm still lifted, and I lower down, lift it up for one. Keep your legs straight, look at it. Lift it up for two, take it down, lift it up for three. Take it down, lift it up for four. One more time, you're gonna hold it here now. It's this piece right here. Flex the top leg, push it up, go down. You can go all the way up and down. Go up a lot, go down. Go up a lot. So if this is starting to cramp in your thigh, don't be surprised. It's a hamstring right in here. Do five more. One, take it down. Two, take it down. Three, two more. Four, last time. Five, and roll it down. Let's grab our thighs. Pull it in to stretch. Drop your head and wiggle. Nice job. So the supporting leg is where you might be feeling it in the hamstrings. Put your feet together. Hands behind the head. Look up and into the screen. Okay, I'm going to go off the mat so you can see me. I'm up here. Down, up. A little quicker. Now, if you want to put your head down, I'm okay with that. Get your little James Bond butt squeezes. There's 10 of those. But hang on. Come up and tighten in your abdominals. Let it go down. Pull tight to here. Okay, push up with your quads. Squeeze your glutes. There's a bunch more of these. There's 10 of those. See, so up for nine. Go down, speed up for eight. We're not doing 50, so make each one tight at the top. Take it down. Good, it's five more times. Five to squeeze, I'm cinching my abdominal leg. Four more. Three more. Two more. I'm holding up on one, I'm staying there. Okay, now stay with your open close. This is what it looks like. I'm super lifted, open close. Open close. Open close. Do five more. Four more, three more, two. I'm holding where I'm resting because the second leg goes up. I'm holding where I'm resting. Now, guess what? The pressure's going to be on your standing leg. This leg's nice and high. My head is up to see the screen or I can put it down. Don't lose the stance as you lift the leg down, take it up. Take it down, take it up. So, abdominals, whatever, it's not a big deal, but I want your standing leg, this part right there. To be strong, guys. Lift it up for five. Lift it up for four. Keep your legs straight. Yes. Three more. Two more. Hold it up on one. You stay there. Down, up. Down, up. So it's my standing leg. This is the standing leg right here. Right here. Boo hoo. Just a couple more of those. And five more. Lift it up. Four more up. Three more up. Two more up, one more up, down, rest. Grab your thighs, not the kneecaps, the thighs. Into the shoulders, relax and bring it back. Knees together, you lift your head up and look at 
Knees are together, hands behind the head. Pull the knees in, tap the ground. Pull the knees in. The emphasis is thighs together, knees into the chest. Okay? You're tapping with the toes, knees into the chest. Okay? So it's an easy lift from the bottom. Do five more. Do four more. Make it like a jumbo. You tighten to three more. So two more. Hold it in that one, one leg stretches out. Now this knee taps down. Eight of those. Seven, work this knee into the chest. See how I'm pulling it in. Pull it in. In. Good. Four more. Three more. Two more. With further ado, switch to side. Down in. If you want to take a break, this is the time. Watch this too. You can put your head down, put your hands under the butt. You've got variations, okay? Let's work it. Bring that knee in a lot for five more. Four more. Nice straight top leg. Three more. Two more. Last time. Grab wiggle. Just nice time. You follow back the end. Lift your head. Knees together. Both legs go out. Let's look at the variation. Both legs go out. Now, another variation to keep the knee. Let's go up. Bring them in. Or look at me again. Get low. Or you can do it like this. Do a couple more. Five of those. Four of those. Three of those. Two more. Last time. You break with your back. Nice job. I curl up. I stretch one leg to the ceiling. I'm pulling it into me. Feel that stretch. Stretch the other leg to the chest. Switch it again to do it. Hold it now. Pull this in a lot. Switch it again. Pull this in a lot. You've got the stretch. Hands behind the head. Let's do one. And there's eight. B, A, and B. Two. A, three. B, three. Four. Curl up. Open the elbows. Five. Good. Six. And seven. And eight. And nine, one more time. Ten, both knees are in, which be done. Take a little break, wiggle the back. Inhale, exhale, you curl up. So I'm going to turn my mat. You can do what you want. And I'm going to come onto my side. All right. I stretch my arm, I lower my head, and I tighten right through here as both feet pop up. Pull in your abdominals, pop your feet up, down, up. Let's go. Easy speezy. We've done it before. Just another oblique exercise. Instead of curling up, this way we lift up. So movement starts from the hip. Up, down. Good. Relax. Up, down. Hand can be anywhere you like. Eight of these. Feel the work. Seven more. Six more. Five. Everybody with me? Working in the waistline. Four more. Three more. We're gonna hold it up on one because I'm splitting and hold. And I'm splitting and hold. Legs are straight. It's like slow motion. Stretch. Nice stretch. Not the hardest thing in the world, but to keep it stable and effortless is what we're doing. Four more. Open. Three more. Right to the oblique. Keep going. Two more. Final time. One more, let's just hold it off the mat. Stay there. Take your break or hang. Down, up. So you might need to stop and then jump in on this one. I have to admit, it's a lot in a row. See my inner thigh right there. Eight of those. Seven of those. Work with the inner thigh. Six more. Five more. Four more. Three more. Two more. Now I'm not done yet. I'm going to hold it there and let's post the ten. Nine. You should feel your inner thighs right now. Six, five, four, three, two, and now I break. My God. I come up, okay, and then I really come up. And then I come onto my knees, and I put my hands here, and I'm here, okay? Open up to here, stretch your legs long, okay? Here we go. If you don't like the wrist there, you could still participate on the elbow. Got it? So decide where you're going to be. 
Open up and balance right here. Let's do like hot. Good. Here we go. Up down. You could also be squat on the ground if necessary, okay? Keep going. If you're not digging the lift, you could always compromise down to the side. Or you can be on the elbow. Or you can be up. Let's do five, four. One, up. Two, here we are. Three, four. Hold it up on side. Flex your foot. Eight, seven, six, low. Five. Four, three, two, one, bend the knee in. Hold it. Stretch the leg out. Bend the knee in. Keep it firm it up. Stretch the leg out. Four more. Out. Three more. Two more. Out. One more. Flex your foot again and lift it up for ten. Finish it up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, let's all go down all the way and take your leg behind you, right there. My knee is bent, my other leg is back, I'm looking forward, okay? Swing the leg back a few times. Open up in your hip flexor and stretch the leg behind you. There's eight of those. Seven, six, five, four more. Three more. Hold it back there. Okay, ready? Now check it out. Up there. Up there. You can hold on. You can hold on. You can hang out. There's ten of those. Up down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Now listen up. Hold it there. Flex your foot. Lift it pulse. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, bend it in for 10. Squeeze close for nine, raise your hamstrings. I hate to tell you, eight of those. So when you squeeze, you should be feeling the back of the thigh tighten, six more, five more, four more, hang in there because there's only three more, two more, and you're good on one, bend and rest. Pick your band up, quickly give it some love and attention. Put the foot inside and hold a lot. Okay, now wrap it and pull and let it go. Do a couple more. Pull. So here's our stretch after what we just did. Two more. One more. Take it all the way down and do nothing. And bring it all the way up. There's a big range of motion. All the way down. Pull it all the way up. Two more. All the way down. All the way up. Last time. Hold it here, hold it to your nose. Use the band. It's easier when you have the band, but what's good about it is you can get more stretch. Got everybody to go on for the stretch. Four more, three more, two more. One bend your knees, put this aside and fold. Get comfortable as you lift the lower. Nine of those, pull your abs in. Eight of those, seven more, six more, five, four, Three more, two more, and one. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to use my hands to bring myself up. Okay? I'm going to bring the knee forward and bring the other leg back. And there's my stretch. So if I need to be further over, because it's a little much over here, or I need to be further back, you decide. And I want you to bring your hips forward and bring it down. So if you're over here, it's a small move. See? Back and forth. If you're going a little larger with your hands back, get this off, take it down. Get that range of motion in your hip flexor. Two more. One more and wait there. So you're either here or you're here. Any of these are good? But my hand goes back here and I raise my leg. So if this hurts you, skip this part. But for those who are okay with the knees, you reach, take it down. This is five of those. Reach over. Four more, get that side stretch. Three more. Mm -hmm. Some of you are doing it, some of you are not doing it. Two more. And last one, and just give yourself a spin. We all lay down, everybody, to stretch your leg out and up we go. All right? Separate yourself with your hands, get nice and straight and wiggle. 
All right, take your hand, tap it here, and then put it under the leg, and put your hand here, and take it back. Do a couple of those. Put your little head down. Try not to look at me. Don't do it like that. Elbows back as you go down and up. Do two more. Are you gonna hang up right here looking? Reach to me, take it back. So we've already discussed this. If you want to do it with the elbow back because you're concerned about a rotator cuff, sure, why not? But if you're gonna do the larger one, get that limb out of the body. Two more, pull back. One more, I'm gonna pull back and I'm gonna, everybody goes here. We'll do all, stretch to the side. It's so large, okay? Take it all the way over to your fingers, to the toes. Good, get good stretching. Three more. Good. Two more. Good. One more time. And then I come up and I'm straight. Okay, move it back. I'm going to use my hands to twist my body because I'm going to go down over and then I take my hand to help me give myself a little sweat. Turn yourself around. Good. Enjoy this as you come up nice and carefully. Come into the diamond, drop your head and release your back because you're going to need it now. Take a few deep breaths. So when you inhale deeply, let your back fill with air. Exhale. This is a nice calming moment. Let your head go down to your toes. Inhale. Now your head will probably not touch your toes, but you're in that direction. One more time. Roll and inhale. And roll yourself on up. Both feet slip around. I take my band hat nearby. And I'm right to the side. And I pull my abs in, I lift my feet to stop. So I'm very firm through here. Arms or whatever, if you just up and down, up and down. Do a couple of those. Pull your belly tight. Focus on the side of your body. There's eight of these. There's seven more. As soon as you do it, you know what you're in for. Six more, five more, four more, three more, two more. You hold it up on one. Now get ready. Hold. Hold. So if you need your hands on the ground to help you stay stable, or you could put your hands here. It's a slow move. Work your legs cross carefully. You more that control and still right now. Three more. Good. Two more. And one more. And put your feet together. You can break or hold. Down up at the bottom leg. Inner thighs. Reach them right here. Lift it up. Lift it up. It's ten of those. You should feel it. If I feel it, you better. Let me know. Eight more. We're going to pull up from seven right here. Pull up from six. Pull up from five more. Four more. Three more. Two more. Hold it up on one. And we're going to pulse it up and down. Nine. Eight. Seven. Those are the thighs, right? And then straight legs. Number four more. Three more, two more, and one, and take that leg behind you. All right, so comfortable. Reach out, put your hand in. Swing the leg, not large, but swing it and then pull it back. It's extension, pull it back. Tighten through the gluteus, okay? Pull it back. So if you're holding on to your mat, don't grip it. Make it nice and light. Eight more, we're gonna to start to work through here. Seven more. Six more, five more, four more, three more, two more. Hold it back on one. I'm staying here and I'm lifting it up and down. All right, the fun starts here. Ten of those, nine of those. This is the calisthenic move. Belly straight, shoulders peaceful, neck is relaxed. Four more, three more, two. You hold it there. I'm going to close it. And stretch it. So again, for some people, this is a no big deal. But for me, this is tremendous. Every time my heel goes to my ankle, my hamstrings, it's like my bicep. I tighten. All right. Please close. It's five more. Five more. If you don't feel it, you're just going to range of motion. That works too. But if you squeeze, you're tightening them after the hamstrings. Three more. Two more. One more. And hold. Now I'm going to grab my band because I want to stretch that. And out you go. Give it some love. Give it a big pull. Pull that leg. Let it go back and forth a couple of times. 
This is called a stretch. Let's see, don't do it with a bent knee. You can slap it. Push your leg straight and pull. It doesn't need to go to your ear. It needs to be straight and moving. And then we bring it forward to the ground. That's a big stretch right there. And then bring it right back up. Do a couple more times. Take it down for your stretch. Take it up. Two more. Down for your stretch. Good. And one more time. You hold it there. You pull it back and forth. Nine. Keep going. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four more, three more, two and one. I'm putting this aside and I'm coming like this. I lift myself up. I am here, or I am here and I'm bending my knee, everybody. So I'm now coming down to here, or here, or ideally to here. Okay? Foot is forward. This pulls in, shoulders down, and this up. You're going to feel this. A little out of sequence of the recording this. We'll see. This should have gone back a few paces, but I forgot it. But then I remembered we need to do this whole lifting thing. Okay, you can be on the ground. Okay, you can be down here. Your ideal would be supporting yourself up for five, for four, for three, for two. Hold it up on one. Okay, we bring it forward. We take it up. Bring it forward. Bring it up. A couple more of these. Down and tight. Five more. Take it out. Reach it up to four more. Two more. Two more. Hold it on one. We pulse it for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. I'm going to bend this. I'm going to return down. My knees are conveniently located up and down. Ten of those. Nine of those. Eight more. Seven. Six more. Five. Four. Okay. Easy, easy. Bring the whole thing in. Push yourself up. You're done or you split. Go somewhere. So somewhere means you're over here, nursing your knees. And some of you will be into a larger situation here. And then I'm going to lift and lower. So if I'm leaning here, see, moving my hips. I'm lifting it and lowering it. I'm lifting it and play around with the range of motion. Make sure it doesn't hurt your joint, which means you don't want it hurt your hip or your knee. So if it does feel too much, just sort of settle into where you can sustain the pull without feeling too much pull in the joint. We hold it there, you're finished. If you want more, we come up, we hold on, and here we are. Reach over for five only, take it down. Four only. It's a lot of pull on the kneecap. You gotta be very cautious with this one. Three more. Two more, last time. One, maybe a little twist to the road. And we forward, we all stretch the leg out, we all come up, we settle down. Shoulders down, all right. Take your straight leg, you put the hand under there, hand on the elbow, I'm rounding, and I'm opening, okay? I wanna get this in my body, twisting out of it. Couple of these, maybe we'll take the arm. Reach forward, take it back. Forward, take it back. Let's just do two more like that. Be nice to your shoulder blade, everybody. And one more, and the hand is here. And my elbow's back is like, really my head down and up. Push my head. Feel it to the side here. Down, up, two more. Down, up. I'm going to stay there and stretch my arm out and then take it back. Do it again. Stretch it out. Look, you want to notice much that I don't want. See how I just kind of ruined the whole thing? <laughs> I'm going to open up and then the lateral side stretch. Two more times, everybody. Reach out, final time. One, you're here. You're up with your shoulders down. Using myself to lift, I twist and then I sink down. All right, relax the shoulders. Don't try. And you feel that twist in your lower spine. You may let your spine nice. Come on back up nice and easy and straighten your legs. Split them wide and hold on to something and wiggle. So 
I'm holding on to my thighs, perhaps knees. Some of you guys that are more flexible will be going down. Okay, doesn't matter where you go. And we go to one side with one hand here. Watch, open and close. So you might be here, right? Not uncommon to not have a large turnout. Most people don't. Two more. So the last time we're just going to stay on that side. I'm using my hands to pull myself down. Nice and easy. I'm back to the center with the wiggle. Back and forth. And then I'm going to bring myself here. And I'm here. And stretch. Take it here. And two more. Nice range of motions. And final. And once I'm there, I'm holding on. Pull yourself down. Drop your chin. And step. Roll yourself back up. Hands behind you. Bring your feet closer together. Raise really wide as your shoulders. Sit up. Straight flex your feet. Hands are here. Shoulders down. I roll back or I reach forward at the same time and I sit up straight. I roll back and reach forward. Sit up straight. Inhale. Exhale. Spine stretch forward. Chin to chest. Stretch out your back. Inhale up. Take a moment to kind of stretch forward. Maybe reach, look up, see? And then stack tall, shoulders down. One more time. Reach. Open your arms, twist. Now pull back here as you reach. Sit up straight. Pull back here as you reach. Sit up straight. Do three more. One. Use your breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Saw down. Two. Reach it. So three. And three. Do it again. Two. And just a nice little filler. One more time. One. And one, let's sit up nice and straight. From here, I come onto my knees. I pull my toes back and I wait there. So for some of you, this is about all you're going to want to do. Because it hurts your toes, I get it. So do your best to feel something in your toes. And if you want more, bring yourself up. And if you look at me, today I'm able to do this. Sometimes my feet hurt. I have to adjust it. Right. So do what works for you just to feel your toes are relevant. Feel that pull. Okay, so notice I'm rocking back and forth, even wiggling about. I want to feel my feet, but if it's not good for me, I'm doing it over here best I can. If I got a major flare planter, then maybe I'm not able to do it at all. And we're here. I want you to let it go and tap your feet. And then from here, toes are long. You go back. And you're here. So you're sitting on your feet. But look how they're pointed downward and you're sitting on your feet. For me, I feel it. Okay, it's the opposite of what we just did. Okay, and I want you to put a little pressure on your sit bones to have somebody push your foot under. Does that make sense what we're doing? Let your feet have their moment. Hold it for four, stay where you are. Hold it for three, stretch those feet out. Hold it for two, and on up. And I'm here. Move your feet around, do whatever you need to do. Two, three, four. Take your hands forward, drop them here. So I'm going to drop my hips down and I'm going to pull myself back. This is about two to three of these. Drop your hips down and bring yourself up. Just a little range of motion. Two more. Okay. And one more. Drop your hips down. And bring it up. From here, I come up and I put my hands in my lower back. With a more extreme camel. I'm here. Hips go forward, chin to chest. Finish. If you want your head to go back, your choice. Now peek at me. One. Support your back. Two. A couple of those. One. Everybody got it? It's a thigh stretch with a back flexion. Chin is either to the chest or the head is back. I would think probably better have the chin to the chest. And hold, drop yourself. Hold. Back again. If it's available, open up. Now you don't have to do this one because you could be doing what we just finished. But now we all bring the chin to the chest. When you come up here, pull this round and put your hands on the ground. Stay with me, look at me. I'm arching my back, I'm rounding my back. Do a couple of breaths, cat cow. Can we get a little bit of movement in the lower back? 
Don't forget your upper body, round the chin down. And hold neutral. I put my hand on my belly. I pull it in, let it go. Pull it in, let it go. Look, my back doesn't move. I'm just harnessing my powerhouse. There's eight of those. Seven. We work the abdominals this way. Gather them in for five. Let it go. Gather for four. For three. For two. And one. And just take a break and watch me. Okay, I come onto my elbows. I put my hands together and I can try to flex my feet with the toes back and I hold a plank. All right, don't do anything. Push your heels away. If you don't like this, you come to the knees. We hold this for eight, planking for seven, for six, for five, make sure your neck is not in this for four more, and three, and the knees come down, you break. So that's your simpler version of the plank. The good news with that is you can always put your knees down and you can then pop them up and you're good. We're going to vary this just a little bit. So we're going to come back to where we started. So here I'm going to lift up and lower down. Lift up and lower down. It's not that hard, but out of like the seventh or eighth, you'll feel how you're using your abdominals to really help you. Okay? Lift up and take it down. When you lift up, you pull your abdominals and cinch them in. Three more times. Lift up, take it down. Lift up. Take it down and come to the knees to regroup. How I do it. It's not that hard, but you're using your abdominals to move. You go like this. You go like this. You go like this. Shoulder together. Two more. And one more. You bring them outside your mat. Okay? Lean forward. Lift your feet. Bend down. And push up. That's all you have to do. Now, if it hurts your shoulder, you're skipping this. If you're nuts, you lift your feet off, knees off the ground. But there's five more. I'm purposely keeping my feet, my knees on the ground so I can really work my range of motion. Push down, push up. My abs are in the whole time like a board. And one more time. Let's just take a small break and take it back up. Okay, so I know there's different levels. Some of you probably did it with your feet off, knees off the ground. All right. Take a moment to rest. From here, we have a variation. Your straight legs. We lift up, we come down, knee into the nose, put it down. Lift up, come down, knee into the nose. Let me show you again. Lift up, come down, knee into the nose, put it down. Lift up, say it. Come down, knee into the nose. Repeat. Lift up, up. Plank, knee into the nose, put it back. Again, lift up. Plank, knee into the nose. Two more. Lift up. Plank, knee into the nose. Last one. Lift up. Come from here. Plank, knee into the nose. Take the break. It's really not the hardest is choreography. Okay? Take a moment to rest. From here, we are on our knees, but now we're going to come up. One leg lift. Eight of those lifts. Keep your abs in the whole time. Seven. Keep a plank for six. Five. Four more. Three more. Two more. Let's just take a break. All of us come to the knees. So don't fall apart. Keep your seatbelt on the whole time you are planked. Let's try the other side. Hop up. Okay. Lift the second leg up. Tap it down. And tap it down. Feel that you're pushing in with your elbows and your shoulders are stabilizing. Neck is easy. Four more. Up to down. Three more. Two more. Last time. Take the break the whole thing. Take it out. How are you? Roll your shoulders. Okay. One more in that genre. I'm here again for the last one. I'm forward and I'm back. That's it. I'm rocking my toes. Rocking my toes. Four more. Keep your plank for three. Two. And you're on the knees. Take your breath. Take your breath. Right. Hands are here. I'm going to drop my hips down again. I'm looking up. Shoulders pull down and you pull your chest up. Hold it here. Scoop your belly. Rock your head to the floor. One more time. Get a big stretch in your powerhouse. Stretch it up. Shoulders down. So you want to stay, stay where you are, with your belly into the ground, your shoulders pull back. Pull in, 
I want you to do it again because I want you to really come up from here. So we're down with like this stretch. Now belly pulls in and your little back, not bad. Take your arm up to the ceiling. Look up and now thread it through. Knuckle, elbow, get your shoulder going down. And pull your hips back. So we can go to Sinchi. You want your shoulder bone to be on the mat with the palm up. And draw your hips back a lot. Hold this for four more. Three more. Take the whole thing up. And pause. Stay where you are. Take the other arm up. Thread it through. This elbow. Shoulder blade on the mat. Feel nice little thing going on here up the shoulders. Sink that shoulder blade, pull your hips back for five, for four, for three, two, and three for you. Watch me. We come down. Lift your chest. Drop your head, but look at me. Lift your feet at the same time. So my hands are down. And my feet are up, so the big arch of my back. Keep it me. Shoulders are down. It's like a cobra with your feet lift and take the whole thing down. Lift up first, drop the chin, lift your feet. Hold it and stay here on the side. Airplane, take it down and group, lift it up. When you do this, you don't lift your head. The chin stays to the chest, so you're not cranking in your neck. Do two more. And then take your whole break away. Yes. You're finished. Or from here, you will bend one foot and maybe grab an ankle, bend one foot and maybe grab the other ankle. If you don't have it, lift your chest, lift your leg, drop your chin, or shift your feet to airplane. You need to have the bow or the airplane and keep holding it. Lift your chest some more for five. Keep the chin easy. Drop the head, extend the neck, and take the whole thing down. Use your hands. Up you go, round your back. Wiggle get out of your lower back, wipe your feet, your hips from side to side, move it around. All right, from here, watch me first. Take my arm, put the palm on the floor. I'm going to roll over and I think so. I'm rolling over, it is like someone is pulling your arm out of your chest. So if you're not sure, watch me again. Calm down, slide it out. Drop your ear, roll back. I can take my foot behind me too. I just want you to feel that nice opportunity to stretch the arm out of the body. Watch me again if you're not sure. You're hanging out for a while. Reach out, roll away, and stay there. And here's what you have to calm it down. You really feel like your arm is stretching out of your chest. Come back to center. Pop. I'm sliding my palm out. Feel down, roll away, take that top leg and bring it back or feel. If you want to creep your hand any further, but you're getting a pull in your shoulder. Okay, watch me again if you don't have any. Stay here and look. Palm is down, I'm pulling away, rolling out. My back leg is almost reaching further away. I get more pull on my shoulder as it was here for. Squeeze it out, hold it for five. Relax the draw line for four. Three, two, roll back. Yippee, use your hand. Help yourself up. Round your back and touch. Come up like so. Roll your shoulders if you find. Oh, it's over. Crap. One leg forward. Lunge down. Lizard. Both hands down and let you wiggle. You're done. You're done. You're done. Put your version of how you want to get your split. Lift up to look. We're back here, but some of you guys, I know that some of you slide into something more. Your choice. You don't have to do this. It's an ending. And then carefully bring it back. Take your other leg forward. You come down to lizard. Your hands are here. You're finished. Lift your back leg. See, I lifted it. And then come down. You can only keep your knee down. You don't have to do the elbow down. Just get your vision squishier. You have to look up. There's my split. So if you guys want to take it further, just to let you know I'm not all the way down, but I'm still proud of myself. I can go forward a little bit. Maybe one day I'll go down some more. That's what it looks like for you. Definitely bring it back. Please wiggle. 
a mat and bring yourself up. Roll your shoulders. Take one leg off the mat. Make it strong. Look at my right angle. Like nothing must be gone. Okay? Pick up your band. Put your foot on here. Rest and lower. So this is pretty easy for me because I made it easy, but I could also make it worse. <laughs> So we're running out of time, so I'm going to show you to do your own version just by stepping on this band. You created a shoulder exercise with resistance. But the whole thing is to pull down. Let's face it, pushing up is not the hardest thing in the world. It's the down where you before and take it away. What do you do next? Throw it up. It's a side, side step. I'm going to look bump in that arm. Okay. And switch. I'm switching my side. I'm jumping in because we're running over, but I want to show you things that you can do at home. I'm standing on what I think is okay. Oh, it's too heavy. I'm moving over. Oh, it's too light. Find your spot. Do this at home. You can do 10 on each side. Then 15 on each side. You know, two sets, maybe three. Feel the shoulder blade in power. You pull down. Two more. Pull down. One more, and then I'm blocking my elbow into my waistline with a couple of bicep curls. It's nice to do a little up here. Just shoulder even and break. Do 10 or 10. Hold it here, shoulder down, pull apart. All right, we got eight of these. Squeeze with your band, okay? Do three sets of 10. Today we're just going to do one set of 10. And I'm feeling my shoulder blade very strong. Two more. Last time, one, and I'm going to hold it wide for the grand finale. Here we go. We started. Get your feet somewhere. Try to make them straight. Reach and bring it up. And two more like that. Looky. A lot easier now. Stay graceful. Keep your tummy tight. Inhale, lift the arms up. Hold the other side. Down, take it up. Everybody with me. Finish up. Down. Mm -hmm. Last time. Down, take it up. Separate your feet. Throw this away, Lean flat back, hold, drop the chin, and the floor, dangle and wiggle your hips, dangle, wiggle your hips, finish that lower lumbar front, nice and easy. Hold, flat back, hands on the thighs, flat back and saunter up, feet together, inhale, stretch, longest arms, and two more times, inhale, stretch, hold it up, final time. The end. Thank you for coming.